Are you using self-care as a band-aid? Hey, we all encounter a lot of stress in our day-to-day -day, and there's no problem with the renewing benefits of a bubble bath or a massage or a hike or a great workout at the gym, right? All of these things can be wonderful moments that we take out of the constant doing, doing, doing to find greater balance with the doing and the being in our lives, to reboot our energy, to renew, to kind of um, savor a little bit of space where there's nothing filling it but peacefulness. The problem comes when we look for those self-care practices to renew us and we become even more kind of self-isolated. So an underutilized way to take charge of our energy is shifting not only from self-care, but to community care. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the 75 year long study that Harvard has been running on adult development, but there's some interesting research that looks at how the quality of the relationships in our lives actually can lead to healthy brains and increased health and happiness markers on a variety of different levels. There's a TED talk on it and I'll put the link below, um, but it's interesting because one of the things that the study found is that it's the quality of our relationships that makes the most difference in the peace, the fulfillment, the happiness, and the ability for our energy to kind of be more positively released. And so the question for you today is, number one, think about the five people that you are in closest contact with on a day-to-day -day basis and write those names down, and then write next to them the quality of your relationship with them. That will give you overall a quick snapshot in terms of how you're either aiding or actually negatively impacting your health and your connection with others. Number two, think about the tribe of people that really energizes you. Um, who would be on that list? What kind of people are they? What, what's a common interest? When do you feel most alive? And where are these people? What kind of groups are they part of? Where do they travel? What are they doing? Where is your tribe? That's number two. And then number three, what's one thing that you can do today to not only connect with that tribe of people, but maybe cultivate some care for people in that community? With those three actions, the next time that you're feeling stress, you too can move from self-care to self-care and community care. Try it out, let me know how it goes. I'd really love to learn. I think this time in this rapidly changing environment is a time for not, us not only to reset our own energy, but to help our communities reset our energy. And I know when we bring more communal focus, we can help others do that faster and better together.